Hello children, this is Dimple from Dimple's Joy of Storytelling and today I've come with a new story in the Magic Key series and the name of the story is Noah's Ark Adventure. Noah was a man and he had a big boat, ark and ark and Noah was instructed by Lord to take two animals of each species across because there was going to be a storm and the whole world was going to drown. So let's enjoy the story and how does Noah help and how do the kids help? It rained and it rained. It rained all day long. The children were fed up. Dad looked out of the window. Come inside, he said. It's too wet to play outside. The children went outside. They wanted to play, but it was too wet to play. Dad looked out of the window again. Come inside, he said. I said it's too wet to play outside. Look at him knocking the window and calling the kids back inside. The children went to Biff's room. Suddenly the magic key began to glow. It was time for a magic adventure. What a good job, said Kipper happily. I wanted a magic adventure. I'm fed up with all this rain. I don't like getting wet. The magic key took them into a new adventure. But it was raining there as well. So Kipper was very upset. Oh no, said Kipper. We don't want an adventure in the rain. I was hoping to escape it. The children saw a boat. What is it? asked Kipper. It's Noah's Ark, said Biff. Noah has to put the animals on the ark or they will all drown, said Chip. Look at the closer picture of an ark. It's a big, huge boat. It's a big boat. It's raining so much, said Biff. The water is going to cover everything. Don't worry, said Chip. Noah will save all the animals. Will Noah save us too? Asked Kipper. Let's see. There, Noah's there. This old gentleman holding an umbrella. Oh, it's a funny umbrella. Look, it has a little pipe. So all the water gets collected and it's drained out through the pipe. And oops, it's falling pitter-patter on Floppy's head. Hello, said Noah. What do you want? Have you come to help? Noah looked at the water and he pointed at the ark. I want some help, he said. Come on, please help me. What help did he want? Let's see. The children looked at the animals. It's time to put the animals onto the ark, said Noah. Now, can you see some animals there? Look carefully. I'm going to hold the book. There are some cats. Some donkeys, some zebras, some rabbits, ostriches, horses. And on the other side, I can see two big rhinos. Oh my God. And I can see the backside of the horse already inside the ark. The animals went on to the ark. They all went on in twos. It's a pair, one female and one male. First, Noah put all the big animals onto the ark. And why is that? It's because the small ones can easily take a ride on them. So first, the big animals had to be organized. And there were so many, so, so many, in thousands. A man pushed the animals. They pulled up the crocodiles in a big net. A camel didn't want to go onto the ark, so they pushed it and pulled it. And I can see a cow and a bull behind the elephant. Yes, okay. Children, I hope you all are watching. 
all the animals i'm going to hold the book a little longer yes look you can have a look of course there is rain that is blocking the picture it's raining heavily there oh look at this picture i can see two big giraffes snakes hanging from the top the back side of the two little pigs now all the animals are on said noah and it's time to go please get on to the ark the children marched towards the ark then suddenly noah looked at floppy and what did he say stop shouted noah why why did noah ask children and floppy to stop i'm sorry said noah we already have two dogs on to the ark we can't have three dogs i have to be fair i have to take just two animals of each species look i already have dogs there children can you see the dogs behind there Floppy is like a family member. The children couldn't leave Floppy. If Floppy doesn't go on to the ark, so we won't go on it," said Biff very firmly. So Biff said, "No matter what happens, if Noah is not going to take Floppy on to the ark, we are not going either." And they stood. Oh, Noah didn't wait for them. And Noah did not take Floppy into the ark. The ark simply sailed away. But Noah was kind. He said, "Okay, I've got a big umbrella. I'm sure the three of you can definitely fit into it. The least I can do is send you back. Take my umbrella, and you can sail away." The children floated in Noah's big umbrella. Oh my God! You remember that had a little pipe there, so the water started filling up the umbrella. Are the kids going to drown? And look at Chip. He's quickly collecting water that is coming up and emptying it in a plastic bag. Look, he's throwing the water out. It's still raining," said Biff. And thank God, just in time, the magic key began to glow. The magic took the children home. Phew! What an adventure," said Biff. "Oh no," said Kipper. "Now, children, I'm going to hold this picture a little longer." Look at the umbrella, so tiny. Imagine all four of them were sailing on it right now. Why is that? Because when the magic key glows, the children become smaller. So you can imagine how tiny they were. And Floppy also, all four of them could fit into this tiny little umbrella. All right. I hope you like the story. because i loved it and you got to learn something new about noah and in the previous story you got to learn something about a king of england named arthur children these stories are a lot of fun but most of them even give you some extra information especially these magic key series you can you know about the pirates now you know about witches and you know about tunnels and you know about noah you know about king arthur so along with enjoying Remember these names it will come to lot of help later on for you all right and i have so many other stories from dimples joy of storytelling do go through them i have floppy series i have biff chip and kipper series i have bill and wilma and from level 1 to level 7 there are lots of interesting stories short ones but beautiful ones do go through them share them with your friends enjoy them like them and subscribe them all right i'll see you with a new story next week and we are going to complete level 5 stories of magic key very soon and i'm going to start with level 6 stories for you smart kids i'll see you next week till then bye and take care we hate to say goodbye we hate to say goodbye